Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are recapping Love Island Season 8, Episode 2, you guys. And man, these guys. All these guys just just continue to give us nothing, you guys. Continue to give us nothing. I cannot wait till a new batch of guys come in. You know, here's David Davy Day is the perfect example of a guy that can have the looks and have nothing else and makes his whole identity just about the fact that he's Italian. And I know nothing about this guy. Nothing at all. And um, he chose for the recoupling because we'll just we'll just skip over the, the nonsense. Um, he chose Gemma. <laughs> you guys, so it's weird because it's like, People do not like Gemma. They don't like, you know, how mean she was. But she's gaining the most followers on social media, you guys. And then you guys are now doing the jokes about, you know, the age difference between her and Davide. And it's just, it's just hilarious, you guys. It is just absolutely hilarious. You guys are out of pocket on social media. Um, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Um, some people are making a big deal that they didn't show or they didn't feature David Day speaking to India or um, Amber. But here's the thing. At least on these UK shows, they make it known pretty much that they're not there for the black women. So either the show needs to cast more diversity and cast more men who are into black women or we have to think of another alternative, you guys. We have to think of another alternative because it's a waste of time for these black women to be casted on these shows just to be ignored, you know? It's like, why? Why set them up for failure? And it sounds like neither one of their connections are really interested or they're just super shy or something. I don't know. Nobody's grafting at all. And the only male up until this point who's giving personality is Luca. He's at least giving us something, you know, he's literally forgetting things that Paige tells him the night before. <laughs> but he, he's at least giving us something, you guys. And I am intrigued by the love triangle between Andrew and Luca. That seems interesting with Tasha. That's giving something. Um, I don't know what yet, but it's giving something that's at least piquing my interest. But I actually do. I see the sparks between Tasha and Luca, and it just reinforces once more how much the UK got this wrong. How much the vote, the public vote, got this wrong of who they thought should have been coupled up because none of these people like their couples, you guys. None of these people like their couples. So everybody's just looking miserable and feeling like they have to force it. And then the girls are frustrated with the guys because the guys aren't grafting them. And they're just like, okay, we understand this is early days, but it's like, come talk to me. Come, you know, ask me out, you know, something. So we had a game, you know, and it's always like the variation of, you know, the airport game in some capacity where, of course, there's like revealing things about these people's sex lives that, you know, get people in a stir and then you have to pick somebody who you think it is, kiss them, and then you find out if you're right or wrong afterwards, right? So I guess the most revealing was, you know, I believe it was Paige that kissed 10 girls and also, um, you know, for the millionth time, we've heard about Dami's um, heart-shaped birthmark on his you-know-where. So <laughs> it, it is what it is, you guys. It is what it is. I just, I feel like we're just getting nothing. We're getting absolutely nothing. And um, this, is, this is really going to be an interesting few months, you guys, that we have in store. But I'm very happy that... Tomorrow, we were getting two bombshells, two female bombshells to shake things up a little bit. And maybe that will, you know, lighten something in somebody, you guys. <laughs> I hope Luca is chosen for one of the dates. I know they're going to choose Liam for sure for one of them. I think Dami should go with Afia. And I think Davide should go with the other bombshell just to cause some drama, just to make it interesting. 
because Gemma should not be, she should not feel like she's completely safe. So there is that. But that was really all that happened, you guys. Oh, the one thing that I meant to talk about in the episode one review is do any of you Love Island USA fans notice the obvious change that took place to the bedroom this season for Love Island UK? It's it's very, 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 very much Love Island USA with the colors and the spreadsheets and everything else in these bedrooms, you guys. Totally. I was like, whoa, am I having deja vu? Is this Love Island USA? Like, it looked like the exact bedroom. It looked like a replica, you guys. It looked like a replica. So I found that to be interesting that they wanted to, you know, give a pop of color now um, <laughs> into this. Um, also, I wanted to say, is it Andrew? I think it's Andrew. Do you know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of Aaron from Love Island Australia season three, this past season that just aired. If you just look at him, like I was looking at him in the confessional and I'm like, who does he look like? And then it popped up and I was like, oh, you're Aaron. You look just like Aaron from Love Island Australia. You guys could be twins. Um, so there is that. Gemma, I just, I need more from her. It's like she can cause drama, but her, her whole, her, <laughs> her whole personality is about her riding horses. Just like Davey Day's entire personality is about him being Italian. So maybe they will work because there is nothing of substance between the two of them, you guys. Nothing of substance, but it's just a perfect example as well. Why we need to increase the age limit. These people need to be at least 21, you guys. They need to be at least 21, um, do like 21 to 30 or something of that and, and keep it moving because 19 where you're still very much immature, you haven't lived your life, you haven't seen the world, you haven't done anything yet. And it's just very superficial, artificial conversations that are just kind of like, hey, look at me, look at who my dad is. I ride horses, woo, woo, woo. And it's like, okay, what else is there to you? Like, what else is there? But for whatever reason, a lot of you apparently are fans because you are following her and blowing up her socials, you guys, even though you claim to hate her. She is getting the most follows, you guys. I think um, the last I checked, she's up to like 82,000 new followers, you guys. So she is really getting a lot of popular, you know, a lot of steam, gaining a lot of popularity and everything else. So there is that. But there really there wasn't much that took place this episode. And um, I saw a tweet on Twitter that was just basically like, you know, these first few weeks or these early days episodes remind you why that you hate the talking stages in relationships. But usually it just it depends on the cast, though. Like, it just depends on the cast of whether or not they're going to give you something. And really, Luca's the only guy that's giving us something. He's giving us a love triangle storyline. He's giving us some personality. He's giving us at least something. He's at least attempting, right, to give us something. Whereas the rest of the guys, I don't even know where they are half the time, including Davide. Um, <laughs> so that just goes to show, even though he's a bombshell, even though he's good looking, he's not giving much either. So there's that. But, um, but I don't know, like, they made a big deal in the first look between India and Dami's kiss, but it sounds like she's not feeling him either. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I felt Dami's kiss with, uh, Tasha was more passionate than the one that he had with India. I'm just not seeing it, you guys. I'm not seeing it for these guys. Like, we need to do, like, an overhaul of most of the OG guys sans Luca because <laughs> none of these, the, all these guys are like mute. They are all mute, you guys. So I don't know. It's going to be very interesting how they respond to these bombshells, um, or if they're going to open up more and get to grafting or if they're really just going to be huddled up with each other like for the next week because that's not entertaining television, you guys. So hopefully things get better and things improve. But I honestly, I just think it's this group of guys. I think it's just these group of guys. The women are not interested at all with the exception of Tasha and Gemma. The rest of them could care less about any of these guys, you guys. So we will continue to monitor it. We will end up seeing, you know, if things take a turn. 
I'm still here to see what progresses with Tasha and Luca because that looks like that has some serious potential. You guys got it wrong in the fan vote. <laughs> um, so I'm here for that. Um, but that's really it, you guys. So we'll just get back after it. And hopefully the next episode, we'll see how these dates go. We'll see the reaction to everybody in the villa to these new two female bombshells. And we will go from there. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments. What did you guys think of episode two? What did you think of Davide choosing Gemma? What did you think of Luca giving us personality? What did you guys think of the challenge, the first challenge of the season? It was kind of like, yeah, all right. Um, what do you think of the guys just not grafting, just not doing anything, just giving us absolutely nothing, giving us nothing to work with, you guys, for the whole hour? Just no entertainment, no energy, no personality, just nothing. Just nothing at all. They are atmosphere. They are fading into the fire pit with <laughs> like they're just they are just giving us nothing, you guys. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post and content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.